Hey you right guys, Trish Munches Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 16 of One Tree Hill Season 3. Last episode we obviously had the videos of like from about what, 10 episodes ago being lit. Oh no, 10 episodes ago, it was actually the last season <laughs> when they did those videos, but they were kind of leaked uh, around the school, so you know, that, that was causing some, some drama amongst the masses of course, but I really enjoyed the last episode, I think it's uh, set up some good storylines and you know, having... Luke's and Mouth trying to be involved in the, I forgot his name, but the kid who was in season one, trying to help him out. And then we had Nathan kind of backing up Lucas, which was really good. Some great Haley and Nathan moments as always. Well, not as always, but you know what I mean, <laughs> in season three, as always. Uh, so yeah, maybe we can get some more Brooke and Lucas. That'd be nice this episode, but we shall see. So episode 16, guys, if you enjoy, remember to leave a like. If you're new, remember to subscribe. And of course, if you want the early and uncut reactions to One Tree Hill, then link to the Patreon page will be in the description. And one of the comments down below where this should be basically an entire season head on Patreon by the time this episode is on YouTube, so about episode 16 of season 4 basically, <laughs> and that'll be alongside my Twitter and Instagram if you want to follow me on either of those, but for now, episode 16, let's do this. Please stay tuned for important resource information following the conclusion of tonight's episode. Ooh. Okay. Yo, what the fuck's going on? What the fuck? School shooting. It's a school shooting. I'm calling it. It's a school shooting. Why would they do that? Or it's just like it's going to be a suicide scene or a school shooting. They are the two options. One hundred percent. Well, the truth is, there's not a single person. Oh my god. In place worth remembering. What is how that was? Oh my god. It's a school fake. shooting. It's going to be a school shooting. So they stick to their clicks to hide it. Bro. It's like that on Glee and shot. Buffy. You Buffy. know they're throwing one tree hill into that as well. Every day I have to come to this school. There's one last day I have to come back. Fuck. Here we go. Oh my god. No, it's a school shooting. Oh my god, and there's more than. Bro, 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 bro. I don't know. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Why would they do a warning? Hey, I heard what you said on the time cap. Oh, was that him? Well, Russ. That was him. Fuck. Nice luck, loser. There we go. Yup. 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 Fuck. Fuck. Shit. I'm assuming he didn't hit him. I don't think he hit the guy. Students to a designated lockdown area. This is a code red. He puts a shot up and scores. Oh, mouth! Take it. Oh my god, I'm stressed already. I just loaded the app. Where is Peyton? She was right with her. She was literally with her. Three seconds ago. Somebody has a gun in the and they're shooting. Haley! Yeah, he's going straight. Straight for Haley. No, I don't know. She was right behind me. We were by the Oh, yeah, the. Oh, Haley's bollocks. It's gonna be. Oh, Nathan, get your ass on that bus. He'd like you, Will. Come on. I got him, Luke! I'll be right back. Not Nathan. smart, but. Boys. He's not gonna not go for Haley, Boys. is he? Oh, wow. Oh, Haley's inside. Ah, it's, a, it's like I get it. But it's Lucas! such a bad idea. Lucas! Fuck. You kind of show on body though and put the gun away and just dipped. Okay, everybody just stay down and stay calm. We're safe here. Fuck. <laughs> Bro, what is? No one saw it was him, really. Procedure locked down. We have to wait until it's safe. And I'm saying lockdown is crap. Whoever's out there is a student. They know where we're at. What about the windows? How did he sneak into this room? No, this I guess there was panic. It wouldn't have been hard, actually. I don't know. You don't think a locked door is going to tell whatever psycho was out there that we're in here? Why would you call them psycho? Oh dear. Oh dear. 
Something to do with them trying to kill us all, fat ass. <sighs> Mate, just shut up. Please shut up. Yeah, Peyton got shot. Peyton has to, has to have been hit. She was stood behind that window. Someone's getting hurt in this app, surely. I mean, well, someone already is, but it might not be Peyton, I don't know. God. I'd be very interested to hear, because I know obviously the actors who play Hayley Payton and Brooke do the podcast. I'd be very curious when they get to this episode. I'd want to listen to it. I, I can't until I finish the show because I might talk about spoilers, but. I'd be very intrigued to see what his kind of like the vibe was on set. Yeah, she's been shot. Oh, is it? Okay. Nathan's a bad idea. I, I think it like takes away from his mouth. His mouth. Yeah, I thought he. Yeah, definitely. I think it takes away from like the. Not the threat, but we know the shoe's not like in the halls, basically. So we know Nathan's actually fine. Unless he goes in that room, then it's not him. He's in the room with you. It's Nathan. No way. We don't know it's him. No, it's his driver's license. So how do you know that somebody's gonna kill him and take his? Just whisper through the door. You don't want to say this is a lockdown. Every man for himself. She can't leave him out there. You already had like max volume anyway. I mean, everyone says always and forever is not. God, skills is not enough. You say it's him, it's him. Open the door. Don't. Uh, yep, there it is. There it is. Nobody's going anywhere. Someone's dying in this room. Or we... no, what if it's like skills or something? Because it's not going to be Nathan and Haley. Let's be obvious. Skills and the cheerleader are like the two. Jimmy. Do it, Mal! Alright, alright, just chill out. Oh, Mal, fuck! <laughs> oh, Jimmy, what'd you do? Move back, Skills. Oh, what, you gonna shoot me? We used to be friends, dog. Yeah, used to be. So it's like that? Alright. Jim, you can't do this. It's a little late for that, Mal. I can't be here. Look, man, just let us go. I'm sorry I called you fat ass. It's a little late. Yeah, great. <laughs> Thanks, mate. You've saved the day How there. You, hero? All of you, shut up and sit down! Jimmy. Imagine having to act that. What are you doing? What's in your pocket? Nothing. What's in your pocket? Hey, okay, stop pointing the gun at her, all right? It's just my phone, okay? Give it to me, throw it here. Why'd you even risk that, Haley? Oh. Why Haley. would you do that? I used to like you. Hi, 911. Yeah, here's the thing. If anyone comes even remotely close to this school, we start shooting students. You hear me? Fuck sake. You come in here. They need probable cause to shake a kid down because, God forbid, we violate their rights. And as far as metal detectors go, the school board... Just don't sell guns. Voted against oh, no, no, sorry, sorry. Because they make the school look unsafe. Nine one one. Hold debate, hold debate. We won't jump into that, that debate. <laughs> Not without a parent. But my parents don't live here. And I guess you'll be here for a while. Yeah, thanks, mate, for the help. Not like she's probably traumatized. Jesus. Come with me, please. Is my son okay? Please just come with me, man. Yeah, he's. I don't know about the word okay. He's alive, but. Luke, it was your friend. The one from the time capsule. He had the gun. Oh, yeah, she saw him. Did you really do that? Did you shoot us? Talk to me, Haley. Because I don't think that you would. Hey, dude, let's let's not talk. I don't, well, I guess I don't know. He... This is kind of screwed up, huh, Skills? It's more than kind of dog. Yeah, Skills. Yes, yeah, is fair you. point. You know? We all charge you at once. Why? You shoot us all. Why would you yeah, say that? Right, but I was out there. It's just you. You think so? I don't know, cause there were people you like he said, I'm "Let's go," down. and there were. There probably is others. Fuck. Yeah. You ask yourselves that, and then you tell me, is anyone else out there? 
He's a good actor, to be fair. He's, it must be so hard playing like phone is that? a role like that. It's ring tongue from my mom. God, I hate this. Yeah, open your eyes. Your son's a dick. <laughs> Jesus. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Why? 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 Why would you do that? Shut up. Don't push me. May you are not Marcus. smart. You better back him up. Listen to him. Not gonna do it, Marcus. What? Okay, fair, fair, fair enough. Behind the line. I mean, Ben, Ben knocked out, then dead is what I'd say. So, the line. yeah, he was not helping. Now, can you guarantee me that's the only kid who walked into that school with a gun? See, I don't know. He said, "Let's go," and there were more feet behind him. I can't confirm or deny if there was more. It's Jimmy Edwards, one of them. I know him. He's he's not a bad kid. You don't know him, though, Keith. You don't. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm with Dan on that. <laughs> yeah. As soon as you start pulling a gun out in a school trying to shoot people. I don't know if you could be considered a good kid. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but would civilians be allowed this close to the school? No. I want to air this with a live feed. I'll get students. Oh, of course. Gotta get the news in there. In oh, for, for, yeah. A little insensitive, don't you think? And you might be Brooke Davis, student council president. Oh, yeah, time for an interview. Roll the tape. I'm here with student council president Brooke Davis. Brooke, can you put into words how you might be feeling about this tragedy? Really? You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> that, that is shameful. That is awful. God, like the crisis isn't even over yet. It, it began about 15 minutes ago and they're already trying to get it. Oh my god. You don't have a record, Jim. You're a good student and you're a minor. Yeah. And maybe this isn't as bad as you think. It's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> you're kidding, right? He needs to punch. shot up with school. Can he stop talking? Shut up, man. Literally. Shut up. Yeah, there's always college, right? MIT. Remember Jim? God, I'd like thinking of him in Ep One. Yeah, but you gotta stay awake. Yeah, she's lost a lot of blood and we probably have to gonna have to do something about that. Not that they have many options. Jesus. It's a ball. Oh. Now I may have to get you out of here. Okay? Right. It was a bullet then. I did I did think like how did that much glass cut her because she's bleeding a lot, so yeah. I guess like she probably thought it was class and stuff. Is he actually gonna? <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm gonna let it slide. Keep your I'm gonna let it slide a little bit, considering the situation. We're a country obsessed with tragedy, Brooke. So if examining tragedy makes me part of the problem, then so be it. So be it, yeah, you know what, I'll have a terrible conscience and, yeah. So I'll do that. Oh, my God. So maybe I'm not the only one who should be ashamed. Why should she be ashamed? Because she didn't spend quality time with Jimmy. You can't spend quality time with everyone all the time. And then she tried to pass on the guilt to Brock. That's ridiculous. Why would she say that to her? It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, Brooke should feel guilty because she's not spoken to Jimmy. <sighs> Dan, just chill. Please have a day off. Have a day off today of all days. They won't do that. They won't have like Dan being menacing. They just take away from the episode. This no. is wrong, man. All of this. I think you know that. <laughs> Call him out, Nathan, I guess. Oh Jesus, what now? Oh, diabetes. Diabetic? Where's your insulin? What's wrong with her? She's diabetic, where is it? All right, just you, come on. Oh, there you go. Hey, I'm sick too. Seriously, I feel terrible. Mate, I'm shut up. Wait, why are we doing slow-mo though? Are there others? Let's go, oh fuck. Oh, right, I thought she'd have to fall and he was gonna, okay. 
I thought something was going to happen. Every time they slow mo another show, it's like, it's like something's bad to happen, but. Yeah. I just got a text message from Nathan. Is he in there? Is Lucas with him? He says this kid is the only one. They're in the tutor center. Oh. Uh, Jimmy Edwards, huh? Yeah. Look, Danny, I know we've had our differences lately, but you gotta let me try to talk to him. Talk to Jimmy. You don't know him, Keith! You don't. You barely. Maybe they knew each other a little bit. Please. You can get me in the past, but come on. Nobody has to know. If no, if no one, if his friends haven't spoken spoken to him in like a year, you really think Keith has as well? So no. Whoever steps into that hallway is gonna die. Oh fuck. Oh, bro, stress. Yeah, that ain't smart. That was man, it don't have to be like this, dog. Yeah, I think it does. Fuck. It's not gonna be. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I'm stressed. He's not just gonna like go up and shoot Lucas. Oh, bro, what are you doing? Hey, where do you think you're going? Oh, yeah. She's bleeding. The that was bad timing, Lucas. I know, Jim. But if I don't get her out of here, she's gonna die. Oh, my God. I'm stressed. We know that, Jimmy. What the hell Keith, is why are you here? What is going on? Please, Jimmy, just please just let them go and you and I can talk about this. Oh, why is Keith, how did Keith even get in here? I know. They would have let him in. Oh yeah, Keith, go ahead, try and talk to him. I love you. Keith, Keith's gone. Keith's dead. That's it. Keith's dead. Keith's dead. Jimmy, Keith, what are you, you why. doing? Your stomach, that pain in your heart, it goes away. That voice in your head that's I don't even Jim, know what's it's going wrong, Jimmy. She's gonna die. You don't know that. Oh, I'm so stressed, dude. I just, I Why the cop the cops are gonna I fuck this up? I'm not here. Oh, he's gonna shoot himself, maybe. Jimmy, please. He's good. He's good. Fuck! <laughs> oh. It hurts. It always hurts! I know. Oh my god. Please. Please. He's gonna shoot himself. He's gonna shoot himself. Yep. No! Oh, bro. Bro. Does darkness have a name? That we now send our children into the world like we send young men to war. <sighs> Hoping for their safe return. But knowing that some will be lost along the way. That is, yeah, that's mad. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What's going on? Does this darkness have a name? What's going on? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is it your name? Did that happen? Did that happen? I feel like it just didn't happen. Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Day or night at 1-800-273-TALK. That's 1-800-273-8255. I'm a bit confused with that last bit. <laughs> like, did he actually just shoot Keith? I'm assuming they did that to be like, oh, and I will set up the next storyline, like he's been shot. And obviously, they, obviously Dan's gonna try to make out the shooter shot Keith. I'm confused. I think they will set up, that's set up for the next 
episode. I don't. Hmm, I'm confused. Did he shoot him dead or did he just shoot him? I think that's what I'm like confused about, and I don't know why they'd end it there. Oh, I've, I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. That's, Dan's fucking wild. Uh, yeah, this episode was... It's hard... It, these eps, kind of episodes are hard to talk about because it's like... There was a lot of dialogue in this episode that was very much kind of talking about, obviously, real-life events. And uh, this, when was this episode? This episode aired in... 2006. So, I'm assuming... Well, I'm not... I don't know, but I'm going to say this is one of the first teen drama, well, not one of the first, but this must have been like a very early teen drama to really focus on a school shooting like this, because I know Buffy did it as well. That was done very kind of differently. This was the whole episode kind of about it, kind of like how Glee did as well. You know, Glee kind of just was very... Glee, I, I got emotional watching the Glee episode because it was just kind of like, it was in the middle of just hearing like about all these school shootings going on in America anyway, like all the time. And then it was kind of like a bit off taste to have it be like Becky had just accidentally shot a bullet. So it was like, it was just kind of one of those like, oh, okay. Um, and then Sue defending her and all that. This is just very weird story, story wise. Where this is like a lot of dialogue that's clearly kind of aimed at America, just in general. And now, like Luke saying, like, where students are basically sent off like going off to war where you just kind of have to hope they come back alive which is just wild like yeah I'm sending my kid off to school and I've just got hope that they come back alive and you could say that about like any country as well but I feel like America is just on like another level because of the amount of school shootings that obviously they have to deal with which is wild um, so yeah it's, you can't really like review an episode like this in terms of like storyline what I will say is I think the acting was incredible especially from um I don't know the actor's name, but let me see if we can find it. The actor who played Jim, who was the guy, obviously, uh, Jimmy Edwards. Colin Fix, I think. Very, very, it must be so hard to play like a character like that. Uh, but he did a very good job with that character, I think. Um, like, because even he was doing something horrific and you felt bad for him in a way. Like when he was talking about all his days at school and when he tried to kill himself and he came back two day, uh, two weeks later and no one even noticed and now the best day of his life or the best day that he had in a year was basically when no one even spoke to him or, or noticed him it was sad it's like you don't obviously obviously agree with what he's doing um, and going around a horrific way of trying to get those emotions out to people and express that to people obviously that, that should go without saying really but I'll still admit like the actor did a very good job for him and he did make you feel kind of sorry for him as well and you know yeah and then he uh, killed himself I, I kind of thought the episode was going to lead there where he was going to kill himself at the end um so yeah because I just don't like if they apprehended him at the end of the episode I just felt like what, what more do we do with Jimmy as a character so yeah no one really got like Peyton got shot but no one was critically injured I'm assuming obviously Peyton will be fine I mean, Dan shot Keith, so Keith's technically critically injured or dead. It didn't make that very clear, kind of what happened there with Keith. I think that's why I'm a bit like, oh, I know they've done it to end it and be like, hey, we, you know, we'll come back for the next episode, kind of thing, because you know we're getting back on with the main story more so. But I just don't. I'm just very confused with that. It just felt a bit odd, especially with Dan to do it. I thought Dan was past everything. I'm like, why is he shooting him? Because he's happy with Karen. And Dan's clearly not happy. I, see, that's like stuff we're going to focus on in the next few episodes, of course. But, and I'm just curious if Keith's dead or not. Like that can't be his death scene, surely. I don't know. They, again, they didn't make that very clear. Uh, yeah. Um, thought the dialogue was very well done. I thought the acting was very well done. And uh, I always give episodes like this like a ten out of ten, but not really in the sense of like, oh yeah, it's such a great episode kind of thing. I think it's like I can't really be like, oh yeah, this episode's like an 8.2, or it just feels weird doing that. So I'm not really going to rate it, but we'll just go with like 10 out of 10 in terms of that's why I'd always give an episode like this. I think I get the same to the Glee episode. Uh, so we'll just do the same here. Like it's, you know, in, it was a very well done episode. Uh, it wasn't as dis distasteful as Glee's 
version of this was. Uh, you know, I think Glee did a you know a good job of kind of showing a serious subject like that. I just felt like the outcome of it was, you know, oh yeah, Becky just shot a bullet off, which is very strange. Whereas this is like obviously done a lot more seriously, and um, you know, I, I don't know. It's just hard to talk about episodes like this because you, it's not. <laughs> It sounds weird like talking about an episode like this in the sense of trying to like review it, which is obviously what I'll do at the end of every single episode I ever react to. Whereas this is like I don't really want to do that. <laughs> we'll maybe talk about it more in the next episode, of course. But it I will just say it was like well done and I thought the acting was very well done. I'll go with that. Um but yeah, we'll we'll leave it. I'm mean, again Stephen Payne will be fine and we'll find out what happened to Keith in the next episode, of course. But thanks for watching guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the episode down below, of course. I'd be very intrigued to see what you guys... And like I say, with the Drama Queens podcast, I'd be very intrigued to kind of hear of like what the tone was like on, on set for this episode. I'd be, I know, obviously, they've only... I think they've just finished reviewing, going back over season one. So, obviously, they've got to go through all season two and it'd be a while until they get to this episode. But uh, I'd be... I'd def I would definitely want to listen to that episode just to kind of hear the thoughts I guess the thoughts for all three of them on, on this subject because it I guess it'd be different for all of them because Hillary obviously Peyton was with Lucas and they had a kiss as well but you know I'm not different about that. Um but hers was like she was kind of bleeding out for the episode, then Brooks she was like kind of having guilt, she was feeling guilty about the situation and then kind of in the hall like checking on people. And then Haley was the one who's probably more at the forefront where she was in the room with the shooter and trying to talk him down the whole time with like and then Nathan being there and stuff. So I guess they'd all have very different thoughts and opinions on how they were if they can even remember, like it was obviously about twenty years ago by the time they get to this episode. Uh, so maybe they can I don't know if they remember like the actual thoughts and emotions that were going on when they filmed this episode, but I can imagine it must have been stressful and you know, very different tones how it would have been doing every other episode basically. So yeah, anyway guys, I'll see you next time for episode seventeen. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.